uh, question which was there uh, in my radar also, but uh, I was not getting the correct options. And thankfully, you have covered that. Uh, so uh, let me just quickly share my screen. And this is the first draft that I've got. So the, the first question that is there is, there was a 60-year-old female who comes with a sudden onset, severe pain, blurred vision, headache, nausea, vomiting. On examination, has a hazy cornea, a shallow anterior chamber, and a fixed dilated pupil and a stony hard eye. What is the diagnosis? This is a very classical diagnosis of a, of what? Of primary angle closure glaucoma, acute angle closure glaucoma, acute angle closure glaucoma attack. Okay. That was a very, very straightforward question. Was that okay? Easily catchable? No doubts in this. Okay. Phacomorphic glaucoma is seen after uh, hypermature cataract. So that was not there. Okay. And there is a sudden onset. So this is an acute. It was a very, very simple question. IOP 60 also given. Okay. Thank you. IOP of 60 millimeters of mercury that again goes in favor of angular glaucoma. And a very, very simple question. Thank you, Dr. Mokesh, Dr. Agar. Vision problem, headache, yes. So headache is there. Vision problem, blurred vision, all are there. Okay. Colored halos. Okay. Colored halos was also mentioned. Okay. Colored halos was also mentioned. I'll note this down also. That is also correct. Thank you, Dr. Tanushri. Secondary angle closure bhi tha option. Secondary angle closure. Okay. So this was a concern tha. Which one is not there? Secondary angle closure was there. Then which was not correct? Steamy cornea was mentioned. Is it uveitis associated? Uveitis plus secondary glaucoma. But uh, uveitis plus secondary glaucoma. Okay. But for uveitis, you have to have cells. Okay. There has to be cells. And the pupil is going to be uh, small. Okay. It is not going to be a dilated pupil. Okay. In uveitis, classically because the iris is irritated, so the pupil becomes small. A nahi tha. Okay. Thik hai. A nahi tha. Hata diya A. Okay. Now, nee, Krukenberg spindle ka question is different, beta. Krukenberg spindle ka question is different. Okay. Secondary acute angle closure. One is saying secondary open angle. Okay. Secondary. Uh, secondary open angle. Secondary open angle. Kya kya hoga? Secondary open angle would be like uh, you have this uh, uh, this. Uh, your uh, pseudo exploration glaucoma, that kind of thing. One option was neovascular glaucoma. Neovascular glaucoma, paka isi me tha ya Krukenberg me tha? Krukenberg ka ek question alag hai. There is a different question which is there for Krukenberg spindle. Okay, correct. I think you are guys are confusing those two questions. Let us move to the second question. Now, this question was a very very tricky question. Okay, history of chronic rubbing with high myopia with astigmatism present with sudden pain. Painless, tha, painful, tha. painful loss of vision in one eye. History of frequent change of glasses earlier. Visual activity is reduced to perception of light. Slit lamp image was given like this. Okay. Slit lamp image was uveitis plus secondary glaucoma. But if uveitis plus secondary glaucoma, bhi tha, tab bhi, even if it was uveitis plus secondary glaucoma, so uveitis will present with small people and there has to be history of cells and uh, frequent change of glasses wagara wo sab cheez ye nahi hoga kya naam hai uh, sudden onset nahi hoga theek hai correct hai to please to ye clear hai usme acute angle closure glaucoma hi tha question number 1 now question number 2 ha to cross linking ye rana beta this is corneal collagen cross linking this is corneal collagen Cross-linking. Just tell me, was this kind of image which was given with a bubble in the AC? Was this their uh, air bubble? Air bubble or a gas bubble in the AC? Exact image, exact image option. Okay, good. So if this was the correct image, then the answer is this. Intracameral C3 F8 gas. Intracameral C3 F8 gas is the correct option, beta log. This is the management of this is the management of acute high drops. Acute high drops, which is a complication of it's a complication of keratoconus. It's a complication of keratoconus. Okay. 
I was expecting a question on keratoconus. This I had mentioned in my last sprint class also, last minute uh, question also. I was expecting a question on keratoconus, but this is too much. I please let me say it on the platform that keratoconus ka complication is hydrops. Hydrops ka management is going to be intracameral C3 F8. Now, intracameral C3 F8 as a management of acute hydrops, even many ophthalmologists will not know about this. I being a cornea surgeon, I being a surgeon, I know this. But other, I being a teacher, I know this. But many ophthalmologists will not know this management. So to be expecting this uh, from an undergraduate is too much, but still it has been asked. This was a way top question. It is a PG level question, which is they've asked. So yes, this was a very, very difficult question. And the answer is intracameral C3 F8, which is used for management of acute high drops of keratoconus. Okay, correct, understood. No, but C3R is for C3R. Me, beta, ye nahi hai. Listen, C3R is for uh, managing the keratoconus from progressing. Okay, and C3R there is not going to be an air bubble. In C3R there is not no use of any gas or air bubble. Okay, so please understand this. Correct. ठीक है तो C3R नहीं है ये. C3R is the management of keratoconus. Okay, but in keratoconus you do not get uh, the visual acuity reduced like this. Okay, this is not going to be there. So this is the diagnosis is acute high drops and the management is intracameral C3F8. Okay, so next question was this. There is a contact lens user present with severe pain, redness, watery discharge from the eye. Acanthoma keratitis suspected. This line was there. Was this line there? Was this line there or not there? Acanthoma keratitis suspected. Was this line there? Please mention. Okay, which of the following stains is most useful? We know for a canthamoeba, the, the stain that is used is calculated for white. This we have done in our class. And this is a classical ring shape ulcer, which is a classical for a canthamoeba ulcer. Achha, no, not, not that. Okay, chalo, even if it was not there, so I'll just cut it off because I was having doubt that canthamoeba directly mention nahi karenge. Okay, but they have given this kind of ring shape ulcer. Some people are getting confused with uh, this as being pseudomonas. But a pseudomonas ulcer will not be like ring shape ulcer. It will have a hypopion. So it is not pseudomonas. Okay. And very, very important point. Severe pain. Severe pain denotes acanthamoeba. Severe pain. Okay. Denotes acanthamoeba. Okay. So that is capital for white. Good. Next question, which was there. This crocodile spindle is seen in which of the following conditions? The answer is pigmentary glaucoma. This also I had done in last minute question. It was very, very straightforward. Pigmentary, we have done this as an image-based question also. And it was a very straightforward question. Okay. Okay. So these were the four questions that were there. Apart from this, there was a question on the retina blastoma gene, which uh, Dr. Spurge has already covered. Dr. Spurge has already covered. Okay. So this is cancer-causing gene due to loss of function is oncogenic. Garden of genome is P53. Lateral loss is not always bilateral. It is mostly unilateral. In very few cases, it is bilateral. Okay. It was very few cases. Correct. So these are the five questions which I were able to track. Apart from this, any other question that you guys know? And I sincerely want to thank all of the people who have helped me in getting this recall. So apart from these five questions, was there any off -top question? One question that Dr. Spurge has mentioned is about the Pancos tumor, Pancos tumor, where the patient is presenting with ptosis, meiosis, the Horner syndrome. That is also partially off the question. I can't was not mentioned. Okay. Unilateral given one option. Unilateral given one option. Is way unilateral bhi tha? Okay. I don't think unilateral tha because Dr. Spurge just now uh, made this question clear. I'll uh, catch this question from Dr. Spurge, sir. Okay. Apart from this, apart from these or any other question you guys have come across, am I missing any question? Because there are only five questions which are there. Pigment dispersion syndrome ho gaya. Pigment dispersion syndrome ho gaya. Crookenberg spindle is seen in pigment, pigment trichoma, also called as pigment dispersion syndrome. Okay. Okay. RB is always unilateral. 
नहीं ऑलवेज यूनाटल भी करेक्ट नहीं है गगन डॉक्टर गगन ऑलवेज यूनाटल भी नहीं है बायोटल नहीं था यूनाटल था ऑप्शन में देखो ऑलवेज यूनाटल भी नहीं होता ऑलवेज बायोलेटल भी नहीं होता इट इज बोथ यूनाटल एंड बायोलेटल ठीक है सो इट इज नेवर एक्सक्लूसिव यूनाटल नेवर एक्सक्लूसिव बायोलेटल ओके करेक्ट दिस डॉक्टर स्पर्श क्लियरली मैं ड्यू टू लॉस ऑफ फंक्शन जीन्स का रोल है सो देर इज मोर ऑफ पैथोलॉजी हेयर ठीक है शायद क्वेश्चन में प्रदीत सर हू इज जस्ट वेटिंग द क्यू any other question you guys think any other question as per you so as as always only five questions came so afthal is maintaining their strike rate and one was bouncer which was absolutely a bouncer believe me it is totally a bouncer the keratoconus the question that they have given is a bouncer one okay so thank you thank you everyone thank you dr pranit sir for waiting and i hand over it to you and we'll come out with the uh, final it was easy the four questions were easy one question was absolutely bouncer everybody would have got it wrong everybody i don't think anybody would have been able to get it right except for people who had the presence of mind to understand that there is a gas so they would have marked gas if somebody kept a presence of mind okay if somebody was smart okay then by looking at the image okay just by looking at this image and seeing that there is a gas bubble if somebody marked gas just by this clue by a simple clue otherwise by knowledge i am very very sure no undergraduate would have been able to mark this okay correct so uh, over to you dr pranit sir thank you very much please